Kate asterisk remembers going over. Part of it, anyway, she was injecting heroin, and then woke up to find paramedics giving her naloxone she knew there had to be a better way, not only a life without heroin but a safer life for those who could not stop injecting, too. Share share on Facebook share share on Twitter tweet link stage 3 is the aftercare area at the medically supervised injecting center, sick in King's Cross where clients connect with staff and are linked with other services including housing, legal, social welfare, drug treatment and rehabilitation services. Photo, Walter Peters for two decades. Those at the end of the needle and those who work with them pleaded for a supervised injecting room in Melbourne. It was a journey marked with thousands of overdoses, floods and droughts of heroin, and cries for help that built to a scream. Share share on Facebook, share share on Twitter, tweet link a typical injecting kit supplied to clients in stage 2 in the injecting room at the medically supervised injecting center, sick, in King's Cross where there are waste bins for used equipment and a resuscitation room which is used to treat people who are experiencing drug overdoses and other health emergencies. Photo, Walter Peters Kate was a heroin user for at least 15 years, that has kicked what was once a $700 a day habit she has faith that those still in the grips of the drug will be saved by a safe injecting room trial, announced by the government last week. Advertisement Titan request ad push, ad spot minus 300 extension 250. Pose 3, I don't think someone should die because they make the choice to inject drugs, Kate, who wished to remain anonymous, said there's lots of things in life that are risky, but do you really think it's okay that the price for that is a death sentence, when we know there's something that can be done about it? Share share on Facebook, share share on Twitter, tweet link stage 2 is the injecting room at the medically supervised injecting center, I'm sick in King's Cross where there are waste bins for used equipment and a resuscitation room, which is used to treat people who are experiencing drug overdoses and other health emergencies. Photo, Walter Peters this will save a lot of lives, and that are all people who are sons and daughters and brothers and sisters. That are not nameless, faceless people Kate lost one such person recently. Share share on Facebook, share share on Twitter, tweet link a typical injecting kit supplied to clients in stage 2 in the injecting room at the medically supervised injecting center, I'm sick, in King's Cross where there are waste bins for used equipment and a resuscitation room, which is used to treat people who are experiencing drug overdoses and other health emergencies. Photo, Walter Peters he had used for years, was doing really well, decided to just have one and did that alone. He overdosed, and there was no one there. And that person is now lost to us forever, and to his family a trial for North Richmond is set to start in less than a year, but there is still uncertainty about how it will work. There are some pointers, from King's Cross to Copenhagen, about what to expect while comparisons to King's Cross are obvious, and were made by the state government last week, Yarra Drug and Health Forum.